Today in the Slumberyard, we're going to be giving you our updated review of the Quail Love and Sleep mattress from Nest Bedding. So this is Nest's more affordable all-foam offering that's meant to compete with the likes of other really popular all-foam options like the flagship Lisa and Casper beds. And it does have a couple things going for it that sets it apart from your average online mattress. So we're going to be talking about that and a lot more in this video, starting with the policies this thing's backed by. Then we're going to talk about its overall design, how that in turn affects its feel and firmness levels. There are actually two to choose from here, more on that in a bit. We'll talk about some elements for couples to consider, of course, how much this thing's gonna cost you. And then I'll even try to sum things up with a nice final verdict for you, so stick around. But in case you didn't know already, my name's JD. Over here at the Slumber Yard, I review all things online mattresses. So if you've been checking out something online, but you want some more information about it before you buy, head on over to our website, myslumberyard.com, or hit the description for so much more. If you get something out of this video, like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more. But now, let's review the Quail Love and Sleep. At the Slumber Yard. Okay, so to start, I do wanna clarify here that we did receive this mattress for free from Nest Bedding to review so we could tell you guys all about it. But in case you wanna order it for yourself online, you are gonna be getting completely free bed in a box shipping to start where the mattress is gonna arrive at your door rolled up in a big cardboard box. All you gotta do is just drag that thing into your home and unpackage your brand new bed, which will shortly thereafter expand right before your eyes. Since this is an all foam mattress, you might wanna give it a couple days or maybe even a couple hours to off gas and fully inflate. That's just the nature of the beast when you're dealing with compressed, tightly packed packaged bedding. But once it's in your possession, you do have plenty of time to try it out to see if it's gonna be right for you. It's actually backed by a 365 night trial period. So you get a full year to test it out at home with your own sleep setup risk-free. If within that first full year, you find that the bed isn't exactly right for you for whatever reason, you can get completely free returns on it. Nest will probably ask you to try it out for at least a full month before you make your final decision there. But if you still wanna return it, that's fine. You can do so for free. But in the case you wanna keep it, it's backed by a lifetime warranty, which is a great warranty to have on a mattress these days. If you want some more information regarding Nest policies that they back the Quail with, we'll try to link some more helpful stuff in the description box below. Also, I do wanna mention that the Quail Love and Sleep is made in the USA. Nest actually makes all of their mattresses right here in the States. So if you care about getting American source products as many consumers do nowadays, you know that box should be checked for you. But enough about that policy jargon. Let's talk about the actual design of this mattress and see what it's made up of under the hood. So this is a simple three layer all foam mattress that uses dense support foam on the bottom, then you have more of a convoluted transition foam layer, and that's meant to act as a buffer between that support layer and the bed's top layer of Energex foam, which is a more breathable, soft comfort foam that, you know, goes a long way in adding to this bed's overall feel. We'll talk about that more in depth here in a bit, but all the foams used within this mattress are CertiPure US certified, which basically means they're made in a non-toxic way. And wrapping up all these layers is a really nice breathable cover that features this really cool pattern. You know, over here at the Slumber Yard, all day long we test out beds that are just flat white or gray or something in between. So every time we get a cool pattern on a bed, we go, that's pretty cool. Now this entire design adds up to give the Quail Love and Sleep a really general soft neutral foam feel. To us, the bed just feels like an accommodating all foam mattress. It kind of feels like a flagship Casper or Lisa bed. Just a really straightforward neutral foam feel here. I think that most sleepers who hop on this mattress are gonna be you know, feeling it to be quite comfortable or at least not uncomfortable. You know, It should appeal to nine out of 10 sleepers out there, we'd say. But since this is an all foam mattress that uses only foam and no coils for support, I do wanna mention that it's probably gonna be most suitable for medium and petite sized folks as opposed to heavier individuals. You know, if you are a bit heavier like myself, you probably do wanna look into a hybrid mattress that uses support coils on the bottom just because they're gonna offer you a bit more support long-term. But moving over into firmness, this is actually one of the main things that the Quail Love and Sleep has going for it because you know, a lot of other flagship all foam beds within the online space are only available in one flat profile. This one actually has two to choose from. So you've got a medium and a firm option here. We have the medium option and we would say it's right around a medium as the name implies. So it should be a suitable option for all sleeper types right off the bat, back, side, stomach, and combination sleepers. Now, if you decide to go with the firm, we would say that's much firmer. It's right around a medium firm, maybe even a tinge bit firmer than that. So it's probably gonna appeal to back and stomach sleepers who 
crave a little bit more support rather than pressure relief from their mattress. But you know, firmness is an altogether subjective thing. It usually depends on your weight. So if you wanna check out some other options, Nest Bedding as a brand has a bunch of others for you to consider. They have the super popular and accommodating Nest Sparrow Signature Hybrid Mattress. They've got a couple latex beds called the Owl and Finch. They even have a flippable hybrid called the Raven. There's a ton of beds over at Nest Bedding. We'll try to link them all down below in the description and more information about them. But getting back to the Quail 11 Sleep, if you're gonna be sharing this bed with a partner, you probably wanna be aware of how it performs in terms of edge support, motion isolation, and temperature regulation. So let's cover that stuff now. In terms of edge support, which refers to how sturdy their perimeter edges of a mattress are under pressure, on the Quail, we would say it's pretty much average. I don't think you're gonna find any roll-off sensation with this bed, but it definitely isn't gonna be as sturdy as something like a hybrid mattress with coils. But still pretty dang good in this regard. Now, when you move over into motion isolation, it's actually pretty dang good. You know, a lot of all foam beds have superior motion isolation when you compare them to coil mattresses. So if you're an especially light sleeper or you sleep with someone who's a light sleeper, I don't think you're gonna be jostling them awake as you sleep on this bed. In terms of this bed's sleeping temperature, like a lot of others within the online space, they like to advertise that the bed sleep especially cool. We would say this one is pretty much temperature neutral. It's not gonna excessively cool you down nor warm you up either. And you wanna be aware that a lot of other factors contribute to the whole temperature regulation thing, like how hot your room is, the climate that you're in, just a lot of other things kind of come into play rather than the actual mattress. So always try to keep that in mind when you consider how cool or hot a bed sleeps. Most are pretty much temperature neutral across the board. Now let's get into pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for this option when all is said and done? And near the top of this video, I did mention that this is one of Nest's more affordable all foam mattresses. And so a queen size retails for right around the $1,300 range. But after discount, you should expect to pay a little over the $1,100 range when all is said and done. Now I am filming this video right around a pretty big big sale around Labor Day. So that pricing after discount could change in the near future for you, but be sure to check down below in the description to see whatever's current. We usually like to keep our price points and discounts up to date down there. So, you know, check those out. And if you do decide to use them, it goes a long way in supporting our channel. And we really appreciate the kickback from you guys, but that's pretty much gonna sum it up for our updated review of the Quail Love and Sleep. All in all, pretty quality bed. I like the fact that it's available in two firmness levels. You don't typically see that with all foam options within the online space, but now let's give you a short and sweet final verdict. Consider the Quail Love and Sleep if you want an all foam bed with a neutral foam feel that's actually available in two different firmness levels, and you want a pretty quality bed, especially for the pricing after discount. I don't think many sleepers are gonna be going wrong if you decide to go this route, but let us know what you guys think. Have you tried out this mattress for yourself or would you like to? Write down below in the comments section. If you need any more information about this bed, or other beds within Nest's lineup, check the description box. There should be a lot more helpful stuff linked down there for you. If you enjoyed this video, you maybe got something out of it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We always really appreciate your support, but that's gonna do it for this one. I'm JD, hopefully you're doing well out there. And like always, sleep right, sleep tight. We'll see you next time.